Hi, welcome to phase one, part one. What you're going to be doing in this one is creating a random sample. It is very important in statistics that you do a random sample. A random sample is not something that you pick by hand. We use computers to help us do this. So what we are going to do is where you are going to start is you're gonna click on this list of public universities right here and it will open a spreadsheet for you. So what I'm going to do is go to the spreadsheet. I already have it open. So just click on the list of public universities to get your list of um, universities that are on here. So if you guys open this up, once you open it, you, if you scroll to the very bottom, you'll see that there's 449 universities on here. I did try to remove some of the universities that gave problems for um, previous classes. So I tried to get rid of anything um, that may not show up in the database. So what we have here is we have an empty row. This is where you're going to assign a random number to it. So we're going to use Excel to assign a random number. Remember that this is using Excel 2016. If you didn't download it from Atlas and you don't have Excel 2016 before doing this, before starting, I would go ahead and download it. So make sure that you do that. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to type into this box right here, equals R-A-N-D, and you're going to just put an open parenthesis and a close parenthesis. So it's just going to choose any random number. It's going to be a decimal. It doesn't matter what it is, but you are going to do that. And then what we want to do is there's a little green square right here that we're just going to go through and we're gonna scroll down until we get to the very bottom and it will copy the same formula into there. So um, just keep going, keep scrolling until it gets to the bottom. It does take a few minutes. You could also um, do this differently, but we get to 449 and it puts a random number in there. Okay, so once you have done that, what you're going to do is you're gonna to go to the top and I'm gonna highlight um, starting in row two, not the first one. And I'm going to highlight this. And if you want to, you can scroll all the way to the bottom. You could hold down the shift key, scroll to the bottom, and then just click at the bottom so that it highlights everything. Or the other thing that you can do is once you've highlighted the two that you want, I can hit the control, the shift, and the down so that was control shift down and it will automatically highlight everything in um, all of the cells to the very bottom when there's nothing left in there so again that was control shift down if you have a mac um, you would do command shift and down okay um, what we're going to do is we're going to come over here to where it says sort and filter so we're gonna sort and filter, and we wanna sort smallest to largest. So it's gonna sort the first one um, from smallest to largest. It doesn't look like it's smallest to largest because every time you do something to it, um, your random number does change. So when it sorted, it sorted with the smallest random number, even though it may not look like it now. So when I'm grading, one thing I'm gonna be looking for is if I click on this, I should see up in the formula bar that you used equal rand. Okay, so that's something that I'm gonna be looking for. If you happen to select three of your own universities, just put them at the top um, or just go down through 22. So what we wanna do is notice that it starts on row two with our numbers and we need a total of 25 universities. So what I would do is when you submit it, the only thing that's going to be in your sample that you want to submit is from two through 26. All I want to see is the first 25 universities that you selected for your random sample. So University of North Alabama would be my last one. I know that it looks like I have 26, but remember we started at two, okay? Um, all of the rest can be deleted. So I'll show you in just a second how to delete it, um, but make sure that you have a total of 25 universities. So because of the name, um, the row that has name in it, you do need to go down to 26. And then you are going to collect information on all of these, which I will cover in another video. So if you wanna get rid, the quickest way for me is what I would do is I would just click on these two here. And then again, I would hit Control Shift and down to highlight down to the bottom. And then I'm just gonna right click and I'm gonna hit delete. So right click, delete, and I'm just gonna um, delete the entire row. That way it just shifts it up. And notice now 
After 26, there's nothing there. So that's the easiest thing to do. You now have your sample of 25. If you have any questions, please make sure that you reach out to me. Remember that I am going to be looking for that you used equal rand over here and that you have a truly random sample.